in the world of regenerative injections, orthobiological injections, whatever you want to call them, one of the most crucial first steps is an understanding of why someone is continuing to have chronic pain. Now, there are a lot of people out there who will say that, oh, if you have chronic pain past the level of what the normal time for an injury to heal is, then you have no tissue damage left. And so if you have chronic pain past three months from a ligament where ligaments are supposed to heal in three months, and then they say that you have no more ligament damage, I have ultrasound evidence to prove that that is not the case in a lot of people. So we have to step back to figure out why you are still having chronic pain. Because if your cervical facet joint is the cause of your chronic pain, which we determined through a very in-depth discussion called the history, a very in-depth physical assessment, and a very in-depth and critical evaluation of your imaging, and we determine that, that the cause is your facet joint, but you go in and you get an epidural injection because the MRI just showed stenosis or that's, you know, there was stenosis. And even though there were, was some facet hypertrophy or some facet osteoarthritis, the doctor just decided to do an epidural for the stenosis. Then it's unlikely that the epidural is going to give long lasting effects because the injection was not targeted at the correct tissue structure. This is crucial. If you are having pain in one area, if you inject in a different area, it's not likely going to work. And it's not a problem with the actual injectate, the PRP, the stem cell therapy, the corticosteroid, it doesn't matter. The problem is not with that. The problem lies in a misdiagnosis or a inaccurate diagnosis that is not fully the diagnosis. And so we have to really be cautious of this and not just saying that, oh, steroids don't work for me or oh, PRP doesn't work for me because I had it and I didn't get better. Well, that's possible that it doesn't work for you. But however, most of the time, the issue here is that it was not targeted at the right tissue location. And so if treatments are not helping you, sometimes you have to step back and revisit the diagnosis instead of just looking for another treatment option. Going back to our example, if you have neck pain and somebody just thinks you have stenosis, but it's really your facet joints, just doing a different treatment for stenosis is not likely going to be helpful if it's your facet joints and not the stenosis that's causing you the symptoms. That's why the physical exam from a, a physician or healthcare provider who is highly skilled at doing these types of physical exams, this is why it's absolutely crucial.